Hey guys, Ben here with Reclaim Living. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July and a nice weekend. Uh, right now, uh, I'm going to dig in and uh, working on my railing, my foot railing for the stools that I have on my island. And I'm going to be putting a, an inch and a quarter chrome bar across. And the thing is, uh, my brackets that I did purchase here, they're actually brass, but I'm going to sand these down a little and spray paint them, get them to look like chrome or stainless steel. These are an inch and a half, all right? So as you can see here, an inch and a half, so I'm going to have to reduce it. And how I'm going to reduce it is by, by using this. It's a PVC for the uh, drain. This guy's going to go in here like this. See? Just like that. All right. And uh, then I have uh, stainless steel tape that I'm going to use uh, on this so you don't see the white. And everything will work well together. And these get screwed in as uh, the railing goes across. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces. All I need is three. And we'll take it from there. All righty then. Here we go. Is it on? It's on. All right. They don't have to be perfect because I'll uh, sand them down a little, grind them down. You know, I just want to make sure that I'm able to get them in and screw them in, and we'll take it from there. I need three of them. I'm going to shave off a little bit here. These guys are basically going to go inside here like this. Alright? That's how they're going to fit in. And then the railing is going to go inside there. I'm just going to even them out upstairs uh, with my uh, sander. Okay, so it's all cut and sanded and uh, it's a little refined. As I said, it doesn't need to be perfect because uh, you won't see it. It's going to go inside like that. And then the railing will be uh, sliding into it. Now with these guys here, uh, so you won't see the white. I'm not going to spray paint that. I'm going to uh, use this guy here, which I use for the chimney flue. And uh, that's where I'm going to get my uh, chrome look, stainless steel look, because uh, it is stainless steel tape. And uh, it's going to match up very well with this guy here. And again, you won't see it because it's going to be on the inside. I'm going to come back later on and these guys uh, are going to be uh, sanded lightly. Then I'm going to get like a, a metal paint spray to get those in. Because let me show you how, how these get set up. These get set up like this. They get screwed up on here like that. And the railing goes right through. Okay, there's going to be three of them. You know, one here, one in the center, and then one on the other end. And that should do it. Okay, so I taped them up, I wrapped them, uh, sealed them up tightly, and here's what we have. Okay, and uh, these will go on the inside just like this. And uh, that's, uh, that's how it's going to work. Maybe a little tight when uh, I try to put the railing in. So I'll probably put some type of lubricant. Now I'm going to sand the brass down. Okay, this one here, I've uh, sanded lightly. And as you can see, it, it lightened it considerably compared to this one that hasn't been sanded yet. Uh, you do want to sand it. I'm, I'm using a, uh, I believe, a 120 or 150. You do want to sand it to get any... Uh, any film off or any any a uh, 
kind of a coating that they put on it. Uh, this way, uh, it'll adhere to any paint or any kind of coating you will put on it. So uh, that's basically where I'm at. Light sand all the way through, and then uh, it'll be ready to be painted. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to do some uh, painting. I'm gonna spray paint it. I already tried a little bit, but as you can see, uh, I started this one. I'm gonna finish up now. Uh, doesn't matter if I get paint on the walls because I got holes on them in the walls uh, that were done in the past, so no biggie. Okay, I got the railing in. I painted uh, the brackets. One, two, and the third one over there. And then I uh, gave it a clear coat, polyurethane. Okay, uh, it's in temporarily because the floor comes down on the left here. This side comes down almost a half inch more than up there. It sinks, it's a natural sink. So uh, what's happening is when I have this all the way in, it's up in the air as you can see it. So I will be putting, I will be pre-drilling a hole here and uh, screwing them in on down here also. Then it'll be permanent, because right now I just have drywall screws. So that's my, uh, you know, my way of resolving it. I'm gonna have to screw it right there on all three of them. And that's it, once I do that, it basically will get all done and it will look finished. Okay, so the screws are all in, except for one more. Uh, this guy here, I screwed it down as I said I would, and I made these permanent. I'm probably going to touch that up and make them silver, and so it uh, goes with uh, everything else because they are brass. Just going to give this a quick screw, and we'll see how we get there. Kick in the ass. That's it. I'll do that with the others. I've got a lot of good stuff coming up ahead. All right, so I'm gonna do these guys now, one here and then one more over there, and we're done with this part. And that's it. That's it with the railing. That's it, that's all we got. Okay, I just put the last screw in, and I'm gonna show you how solid it is. You hear that? That high pitch? means that it's secure, there's nothing loose, and it's nice and strong. So guys, uh, subscribe. Click that button to the red, right side. Click that button to the right side and subscribe. Lots of stuff, lots of good stuff coming up. Take care guys, enjoy the ride, and God bless.